we're here in Morris Township for some outdoor Shakespeare. What's going on, Susan? Hey, Jesse. We are at the Shakespeare Theater of New Jersey's outdoor stage at the College of St. Elizabeth, where we are performing Love's Labor's Lost until July 26th. Susan, what is it about summer and Shakespeare and being outdoors that go together so well? Well, I love doing theater outside and I believe that it is a very ancient tradition. I think people really enjoy seeing a play under the stars. We've got a really great setup here where you can come and picnic before the show. It's a very festive, easy, fun atmosphere. As an actor, how is this different for you? Is this like the biggest treat to be out here? It has its challenges and its gifts. To be able to speak text about the moon and look up at the moon is magical. That being said, there are bugs and planes and hazards that go along with being outside that add to the spontaneity Tell us about the character you play. I play the character of Rosaline and I love her so much. Rosaline and Barone really get to have a little battle of wits. It feels like a chess game and I love playing chess with my fellow castmates. Checkmate. Checkmate! What is Love's Labor's Lost all about? The play is about the magic of what can happen when the heart overpowers the brain. When I come to see Love's Labor's Lost, what kind of a night can I expect? I think you can expect a night filled with beautiful language, definitely some laughs. I think you can expect to experience a window into your own past romances or current romances. To just come here and listen to us speak some of the best words that have ever been written. So do you think we can get one of your co-stars to show me around on stage? Definitely. Okay, let's go. So I'm here with Jeffrey Bender, and we are now in the world of Love's Labor's Lost. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? We are in the Court of Navarre. Well, it's beautiful. This is an incredible stage. It is. It's gorgeous. What can you tell us about it? Well, I believe it was uh, built in 1932 based on the uh, Theater of Dionysus. It's a Greek amphitheater, and it's on the College of St. Elizabeth, and the Shakespeare Theater of New Jersey is graciously being able to use it for their outdoor stage every summer. This is a gorgeous space. It is. What is it like, this view that we're getting right now? What is this? <laughs> this must be kind of different for you. for you. Very much so. It's wonderful because you can actually get a view of the audience. As soon as you walk out, they're, they're just there. Especially during the matinees, there's no lights except for daylight and you see everybody. It's actually invigorating and it kind of gets you going a little bit more. But it's always wonderful to see a big crowd picnicking, having a great time together. So what's going on in the story of Love's Labor's Lost? There is a group of four men, the king and his lords, and they have sworn off women to become scholarly. And all of a sudden they realize the princess of France is coming, they forgot, and she's bringing three of her ladies. And of course they give up their rules and start to, to fall in love with these women. And on a side plot there are the clowns that come in. I play Don Adriano de Armado. He is a, a lover, a fighter, but he's neither because he's a braggart and he's just not good at much of anything. There's comedy, there's love, there's loss, there's sadness, there's hope. It's kind of a mixed bag of wonderful goodness. Now being that we're outdoors, there are other elements that you have to contend with, like the plane going by right now. Does yes. that ever play into the show? Yes, actually, um, we, we can't avoid it. Pretty much every year, the director and the cast get together and kind of think of which ways we can deal with it. This year, whenever a plane goes by, whoever is speaking has to say, Cupid! Cupid! And they point to the plane, and, <laughs> and then a sign comes up, brought to you by Navarre Airways. Cupid's Relay is what we call it. A group of actors that come out chasing a young lady or a young lady is chasing a young boy. They go across the stage until the plane leaves, and then they jump right back into where they left off like nothing happened. That's hilarious. I love the way that plays into it. Every year that the outdoor stage happens, it's it's just an incredible summer activity. It's it's one of the, the best things about being in New Jersey for me. I just, I love coming here. Even if I'm not in the show, as a company member being here, I, I love coming to see the show. I love being out here in this atmosphere. I just think it's a wonderful summer entertainment. It's great. 